Let's, let's dive right in. Uh, as I mentioned, Dollar Tree had another round of movies pop up. I didn't make it out this time. Uh, every Dollar Tree I went to, there was like slim pickings to hardly nothing at all. But I at least did find the second season of this show, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. I've heard of this show. Heard it's really good. Definitely enjoy these types of weird, quirky comedies from time to time. And yeah, I was bummed I didn't find season one beforehand, but uh, for a dollar, figured might as well just pick up season two. And one of my local bookstores, they were, I, at first I thought they were closing down, but no, thankfully they were just uh, moving and they were having a big moving sale. And I went to on one of the last days where all their VHS tapes were 50 cents. Of course, everything was already very picked through because they already had 50% off uh, all their titles, but then they just knocked everything down to 50 cents. Uh, it's a little place here in San Antonio, Texas called Nine Lives Books. I highly recommend uh, you check them out. Of course, as of filming this, they're in the process of moving, but if you're ever in the area, highly recommend it. Very kind people and just, uh, they always had some awesome, awesome movies. I've, I've showcased some stuff I picked up from them before in the past, but anyway... Found some cool titles that I've never seen, and one of them that, uh, and a couple of them that are some of my all-time favorites. First up is uh, Loose Cannons. I've never heard of this movie, but the fact that Dan Aykroyd has schizophrenia and he's a detective, and Gene Hackman's with him, and it just seems like a weird premise. But yeah, for fifty cents, I was just like, why not? And we got Cadillac Man. I've never seen this one either. I've heard of it. And the uh, the late great Robin Williams is in this, as well as Tim Robbins, and you got Fran Drescher right there. So, again, fifty cents. Why the heck not? And two of my all-time favorites right here. Got to give me some Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Uh, these are all just variant art covers. I'm pretty much trying to collect a little bit of everything of the VHS releases from all things Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. And these are just variant covers that I definitely did not have in my collection yet. Uh, first up is this, uh, the Naughty Nineties with their classic Who's on First uh, routine. Bud Abbott and Lou Costello meet Frankenstein. This is one of my all-time favorite movies, and I'm, I've never found this. I think this is the original VHS release, like the original, original. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to double check on that. Can never go wrong with Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Alrighty, going on right into more half-price books items. I only had a couple titles in the previous uh, portion of the video, but I picked up more since then. So again, we're kind of combining videos here. So first up is a couple of DVD titles, both featuring Bob Hoskins, uh, another late great actor who I definitely think a lot of people miss. Uh, first up is the original DVD release of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I think this is not so much like rare but it's uncommon. I just love this cover, this blue uh, backdrop on there, just just everything about this simple cover. I, a version I haven't seen in a very long time in, in terms of DVD copies. I know there's the um, uh, Vista series DVD release, and I hope to eventually find that as well, because Who Framed Roger Rabbit is, again, one of my all-time favorite movies, and there, this is one of those few movies that I want to collect variant versions for. Have the original VHS release as, as well as um, the Blu-ray edition. And I'm still trying to look for the uh, Vista Series VHS release. I know that's a little harder to come by, but eventually I'm sure I'll find it. Oh yeah. It is a blast. I like this movie so much. I, I almost want to say I love it. I remember watching this, if I'm not mistaken, because of James Rolfe, the video game nerd. All of his reviews from Cinemasca are just great dives into various histories and stuff like that. Uh, he, I just remember watching one of his reviews and I was just like, damn, that's pretty interesting. I need to see this movie now. Um, and so I did. I had a DVD copy a long time ago and I sold it off. I think I was like about 18, 19, maybe even 20 years old when I first saw this movie. And holy shit, I enjoy it so much. I'm very happy that there's a lot of people that actually enjoy this movie besides myself. Uh, I posted a picture of this on Instagram and a lot of people uh, liked it and, and a couple people commented. It was very awesome to see a lot of people want a Blu-ray release of this and I think it's long overdue. This is the only DVD copy that was ever released. Like um, One commenter put it, I think, at about 17 years ago now when this was released. So 
Come on, Shout Factory. Come on. You guys can do it. We believe in you. And diving into some VHS tapes from Half Price Books. Have the the Cheap Detective. Uh, it's starring Peter Falk. It's essentially a send-up of like all the noir movies, like Humphrey Bogart movies. So that seems pretty interesting. Could be pretty funny. And this is a movie I've always heard about. Never seen it. But I know it's a Criterion release at this point, and it's uh, apparently just one of those trippy classics. And that is Brazil. This artwork is fantastic. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I just know I saw it there, and I was just like, yep, this, this one's coming with me. I need to see this now. I have never... I don't even know if I've come across a good, uh, decently priced... Um, DVD copy, but again, it's a Criterion title at this point, and I, if it turns out to be as good as everyone says, who knows, maybe I may end up picking up that Blu-ray Criterion release eventually. Another movie that I think I've showcased before, but I was an idiot and I still have not watched it, but this edition was just too awesome to pass up, and that is Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. And right off the bat, it's just a trippy, awesome cover. And this sold me right off the bat, too. I love these awesome VHS releases where they have, like, little booklets attached to them. I have a Wizard of Oz um, VHS release that's kind of like this, and I love it. And, yeah, I need to watch that. And this is a nice little 80s classic. Uh, I saw this again when... I, I remember seeing this and having it on DVD a long time ago. And I remember enjoying it, so I definitely am happy to revisit it. And I definitely need to get the... Uh, Scream Factory release eventually as well when it's for a good price and that is a uh, Teen Wolf. I know a lot of people enjoy it and I'm I'm and I remember it being pretty funny. I've never seen any of the Crow sequels. The original Crow with Brandon Brandon Lee is one of those cult classics that I I just uh, appreciate. I don't have it on Blu-ray anymore. I guess it's a movie that I felt that I wasn't going to rewatch very often or something. But I think if they ever made another you know, variant release. Again, if they make like a Screen Factory release or something, I think I would want to pick that up again. This one had me intrigued. I have never seen it on a VHS version before. And could be okay. I don't know. The Crow Salvation. Uh, Kirsten Dunst is in it. If this is like just terrible or if it's just really, I don't know. Again, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, I have no idea when it comes to this one or, um, I forgot what the other sequel was. I, I, don't, I don't even know if this is part two or three. I feel like they're all the same movies, though. It feels like they're all kind of remakes of each other or something. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I've never seen this on a VHS uh, release, you know, in the wild before. So I was just like, well, for a dollar, why not?